Diva Rish the Horda, Agastha Falteroy Varash, Quig, Guaranteed Irish, where we're focusing on business in Ireland today. Now, I reckon there's a lot of people going to be sitting up and taking notes when I introduce our first guest this evening, because we're talking craft beer. And it's Vim de Jong. You're the, the person who's going to tell us about it. Now, I have to begin with a name like that, it can't be Irish. No, it's a Dutch name. It's a Dutch name. Uh, I um, I was born in in, in Dublin in the uh, in the Rotunda Hospital oh. to an Irish mother and a Dutch dad. And uh, when I was two, we we left uh, to go back back home to uh, to Holland, just north of Amsterdam, is where mm. I grew up. And, um, and what brought you back here then? Well, I, I studied in in Amsterdam, and I never. We don't have beautiful universities like you have here in Ireland, so I, it was always my dream to study a year in Trinity College. And I studied in Trinity College. I did an MBA after my degree in Holland, and um, I studied there for a year, and then I, I met her. Ah, <laughs> there you go. I knew it would be love. I knew it had yes, to be a love yes. story. Jean is uh, not only my, my wife, but also my business partner now, and um, uh, she's from Malahide. And okay. we, um, yeah, we had a great time. Uh -huh. Well, the, the MBA probably stood you in good stead for setting up your own company, the, the Hope Beer. You and your wife and, and two other yeah. pals, was it? Yeah, so the, the business was founded by a very good friend of ours, uh, Des McSwiggan, and uh, a Dutch friend of mine, Paul Ritico. Uh, so Paul had, had, had invested in a brewery in uh, in Holland in Zandijk and uh, and that's where together with four friends and and with the help of my Dutch friend uh, we set up a brewery he had all the expertise mm -hmm. he also um, uh, financed some of the brewery together mm -hmm. with me and we uh, we set up a brewery in 2015 <laughs> Ta vim agus iran ag fashion gyu an grodlan agus le dani for their taka contilla arige da her a fuilev se cholacht. Lonaha ag hot junction is laher sophisticul no e shaki hot brewery agus ta quit an agrodaha is mo coiler his a tear ag oberon. An massa ta ag winter na heran er craft beer ta she a den of evloida ag oni agus biak gur marga sok bioge. The market share here is only three or four percent. Mm -hmm. So I've always felt that at some stage, Ireland will catch up with the rest mm -hmm. of the world, mm -hmm. and, and the rest of the world have market shares of about ten percent in the UK, about uh, fourteen to twenty percent in uh, in the US. So there's plenty of growth for everybody, and well, that's why there's so many breweries. It's good to have goals like that, isn't it, when you're starting out in a in a business? Yes. To reach yeah. that 10%. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, to work it's not, it. I'm, I, I, I cannot aspire to 10% market share for our company. No, but for uh, craft But beer. for the business. For yeah. the business, 10% uh, uh, is there. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's very achievable. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we only need a little part of that. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What made you go with hope? When you start a new business and you invest your pension uh, in a brewery when you're 50, um, you need a lot of hope to make sure it works. <laughs> <laughs> and courage. Yes, yes, also. You also, do, don't you? Also, yeah. Did you but feel it's... that you were taking a, a leap of faith five years ago when you put very, your pension Very in? much so. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not a brewer. I can't brew. So we, we very much worked along the Ocean Eleven concept of hiring specialists for every part of our business mm -hmm. uh, in terms of building the infrastructure, getting the right kit, um, uh, but also brewing the beer. So mm -hmm. we, we, we hired very experienced and very knowledgeable brewers to, to help us mm -hmm. brew the beer. And, uh, I, I believe you've got some really cool names for your beers. Yeah. All our core range beers have, have a story. And we used, we're, we're a Northside brewery. That's, that's how we like to be known, a Nor Dublin Northside okay. brewery. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we've picked lots of different stories for our beers uh, from the uh, from the local area. Oh, so, I see. Uh, so, so give us an example of some of the names and the. So, so we have a beer called uh, Handsome Jack, and <gasps> Handsome Jack tells the story of a pirate. This pirate was <laughs> around. His okay. name was John Chris, and um, he was fighting uh, uh, the seas um, in the seventeen hundreds. Um, but he was also very good looking. So the story goes that he 
had green eyes and blonde hair and he sailed the seas um, out of Hulk womanizing, Harbour. <laughs> womanizing uh, uh, all the way down to Spain and Italy and uh, until he was found stabbed to death in a hotel bed in Naples and they reckon any of his four wives could have done it. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a little story for, for, for each all one. our beers yeah. and, and what we're trying to do is to get our customers to, to engage not just with the flavours of our beer but also with our brand and our sort of, we're, we're building a brand, we're trying to build a brand. Mm -hmm. Dorla Vim, she bior an Ian Nua, agus is brawlesh bior a chrohu a Lian Gomah le bia. De gana, con fós a chur mark, ni go frastal er haspontish gano, ak tosis in doyanta na lehenta so de vor COVID 19. Dolan scale, ta taki gano haravet tavoktak, majel of Ferbert in ein holach der bia. Agus ta Vim, agus a chou ibrahe. Anna Vuich than Holuder, Harter Vineader, Agus Kilbaric, Asantaka, a Hogan she dove. We're a local business with local employees uh, serving predominantly a local market. Mm. Uh, we also export our beer, but North County Dublin is that's our market. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yes, we love to support. Uh, you know, we we have our beer pouring in sports clubs, in um, uh, in, in communities, mm -hmm. uh, in the local off licenses are very important to us. So yes, uh, mm -hmm. the the whole local thing is important. That's all very fine and and lovely, but it is important to expand and to develop and to grow new markets. So that must be constantly on your radar as well. To have a a, a successful, financially successful craft beer business. You need to produce, I reckon, about 5,000 hectolitres of beer. We speak in hectolitres, which is 500,000 litres of beer in production. We're at about 300,000 litres. Now, that allows us to break even, um, mm -hmm. but to make a few quid out of it, mm -hmm. you need to get to that uh, half a million. Mm -hmm. And uh, So that's why we have expanded uh, our brewery um, and, and when we built the brewery we always had the infrastructure there that we could reach that half a million. So we're not full now and we, mm -hmm. we are trying to expand yeah. and um, uh, not only in our local market but also in our export markets. Mm -hmm. Vim Hope Beer is a member of the Guaranteed Irish family. What does that mean to you? Guaranteed Irish stands for everything that we stand for as well. Local is probably the most important word in, in our company. Uh, we have local employees, we uh, are a local brewery, we serve the local community, we use local Irish ingredients as much as we can in making our beers. So it's, it's, it's what Guaranteed Irish is. It's a good fit. It's a, an excellent fit. I believe that when consumers see that guaranteed Irish symbol. For them, it means a promise. In fact, it's confidence. Confidence that they're supporting Irish jobs, confidence that they're giving something back to their community, and confidence that what they're getting is a great quality product. Supervalue and Centra are proud supporters of guaranteed Irish, supporting local Irish producers, and has been that way for over 40 years now, and it's something we're very, very proud on. In fact, over 75% of everything we sell in SuperValue is either manufactured or produced in Ireland. And I think that will be the long-lasting legacy of Guaranteed Irish. Five years ago, you made a very big leap, I suppose, a leap of faith, Vim, and there'll be a lot of people uh, watching this programme this evening who might be, you know, tempted. What would you say to them? The first thing I would say is don't let your age stand in the way of starting uh, something new and okay. um, uh, reach out to your local enterprise office. They are fantastic in Ireland, um, but be passionate about your idea and um, have something with your idea that you really want to develop. Uh, I, I'm 100% convinced that it's, it's only through the passion um, of the four of us that we uh, are successful in our mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of talk these days about people, you know, taking me time and personal time and, and having a good work-life balance. Um, how are you on that? If you love what you do, um, 
then working is part of your work-life balance. Um, but I also, I play tennis uh, uh, a couple of times a week. I play golf. Um, I, have a, I have a family and we do things. Uh, I have um, a son and two daughters. Uh, one just finished college and has just started a job in aircraft leasing. I don't know uh, <laughs> how that Very will timely. go, but, but I think they're busy. Um, and uh, my two daughters are uh, in university in uh, DCU mm. and in, um, in Trinity College. Uh, just before we finish, give us the story of one of the other ones. So Grunt um, uh, is, is the story about Hoth and, and we're very closely associated with Hoth because it's just down the road. Um, and it, it, it tells the story of a Hoth fisherman. Hoth fishermen are very superstitious and uh, the, the mention of the word pig is, is, is forbidden on a ship. So we extended that story a little bit and said well if a Hoth fisherman after his uh, shift on the sea had a little bit too much to drink and um, uh, didn't want to go to work uh, in the morning he would tie a pig to the mast and uh, the captain would have to be very brave to take that ship uh, out to sea. I love it. I love the stories. I'd love to hear the rest of them. Continued success to you and your colleagues with Hope Beer, Vim Goramila Magad as Chak the Chak. Thomas Kunt Brisha Hogan Tanish, but don't go away. Ben mit der Rechtschliff, ich habe einen Kuppel genommen.